story to people, they always go, oh, that's not real, it never happened. Um, but it did. And I want to start out by kind of asking a question to everybody. Do you ever wonder what the last image you will ever see in your life will be? Now, I, I know it's a morbid question to kind of start out with. But do you ever think about, before you close those eyes for that final time, what the last person or place or thing that they'll fall upon will be? And is there any like life lesson you think that could be gained about obsessing over a question like this, like I have over the last 10 years? <laughs> Back in the summer of 2004, I was in college at the University of Arizona in Tucson, and poker was the big time sport, if you want to call it that. And I was totally in on it, right? I played poker with my friends, I played online, and I played in casinos, wherever I could. And this is gonna sound dorky, but at the time, I dressed apart. I would show up to these tournaments, and I would, I had this, I would wear these sweet mirrored aviator sunglasses and I had this black shirt that had a skull and crossbones on it. And I had this mesh trucker hat that had a picture of a cowboy boot kicking a pile of horse manure. <laughs> One of my favorite places to play poker was out at this Indian casino on the Tohono O'odham Indian Reservation way out in the Sonoran Desert outside of Tucson. And driving up to it, it was like driving up to our own opulent uh, hard rock casino down the street here, except one that kind of sprung forth from the desert of Sonora with its, with its saguaro cactuses and ironwood trees. But a, a casino that was instead surrounded by poverty and dilapidated houses. I was drawn to this particular casino because all over Tucson they had all these flashy billboards that said things like, you know, every day, extraordinary, and you may never meet like this again. But how was I supposed to know that those were signs that signaling the ominous things that were about to happen? I arrived at the casino for what would turn out to be my last poker tournament there ever. I show up into the room, and there's seven orange or green felt tables around room and there's 10 poker players at every table. At my table, I'm by far the youngest by like 20 or 30 years. And the tournament starts and about an hour into it, my little chip stack's looking all right. You know, I'm doing good. Several people have gone bust and gone home and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to make it to the next level, you know, hopefully get to that final table. And the guy sitting across from me starts flashing me one of these like, Looks, you know, that poker players often flash each other in the middle of the game. And I'm thinking, well, he's just jealous of my awesome poker outfit. I'm wondering, you know. And he's sitting there like this. And he takes his head and he kind of just tilts it to the side. And he puts it on the shoulder of the woman sitting next to him. Like this. And I'm like, it's a weird move, dude. You know, we're playing poker. People have all sorts of weird talents. And he sits like that for 30 seconds or so. Like this. And then a woman, and he put his shoulder on, starts like, hey man, get off me. And his body fell lifelessly, limply to the floor. And he was dead. And it happened right there. And he had died, staring, just piercing his eyes right into my mirrored aviator sunglasses like he could see through them. The paramedics were called. It seemed like forever for him to get there. So if you picture this room with, you know, 70 retirees and myself just kind of moving about with a dead man just over there on the floor, it was a little surreal. The paramedics came and they, it may have been an hour, maybe two, I, I can't even tell you at this point. They did their electric shock and they did their chest compressions they carted his body away. And the tournament resumed like nothing had happened. Everybody just went back to playing cards. And I had never been so close to death. I had never seen the moment of death before. And I just lost all my chips and I left the building. 
and driving away from the casino that day, I saw those billboards. Every day, extraordinary. You may never meet like this again. <laughs> Every day. It is, it is an extraordinary day when you meet a man for the first time and he dies staring into your eyes, staring right into your soul. It took me a long time to learn the lessons that I needed to learn from that event. And I often wonder, was I really the last thing that that man ever saw in his life on this earth? And then I obsess about what my last image will be. And I wonder what yours will be. Here's what I learned. Here's what I took from that. My lesson was that I have lived, I now live a life that is fulfilled to me as best I can. Because I know that I don't want to have any regrets when I go out. So no matter what my last image is going to be, it will remind me of this amazing life that I'm allowed to share with you all. But I know one thing for sure, is that I sure as hell don't want my last image on this earth to be some punk kid in a poker outfit. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you.